yeah, I think um, it's actually really fun to play Pokemon games. Uh, just one team. Or a team from just that region. Also, high frame drops. Kraken appeared. All right, so we unequipped a bunch of Jin. So we're just gonna destroy him, turn one, and hope for the best. Uh, prepare for the worst. So Meteor on you. Thor with you. Ah, there's only a level four. Cool. Um, preemptively toss a heal. Yeah, Flygon. Flygon's a good choice. Also, I'm probably gonna get back to Resident Evil 2, because I still need to do Leon B. Uh, I'll probably do that after finishing Golden Sun, if that's alright with everyone. I might also do a run of Super Mario Sunshine, because I've kind of been wanting to replay Super Mario Sunshine. Like, I've just had this weird, like, yeah, I shouldn't replay Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Plus Catfish. Also, buy Bitrate, probably. Ow. That hurt. Uh... You just drop Thor on someone. Uh... Uh, sure. Let's go a little bit more defensive, I guess? Uh... This boss gave me a hard time, and that's why I decided to scrap the last stream session. <laughs> because the session- or this boss went really badly. So I'm hoping it'll go a little bit better this time. As long as you can abbreviate it to cat though. Ow. Water blessing? Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Um. Oh boy. Uh, this fight just always is giving me trouble, apparently. I haven't played USUM because everyone told me not to, because everyone told me just to stick with vanilla Sun and Moon. Fanfic? Oh wait, you have like a, a sort of like a dream team, I think, right? Yeah, now the long process of re-equipping all the genie. USRAM is apparently like, they make the plot worse, this is how I've heard it described. Um, to the point where it's like really not great. Uh, that's all I know about uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Is that people say it's like, you just stick, you're better off sick with the vanilla. I think this boss has like 3000 HP or something ridiculous, so we might be here for a while. Uh, just as a heads up. And when it's healing, that's not helping. And the whole, oh, attacking twice in a turn is really annoying. Uh, not a fan. Oh, how am I gonna go about this? I mean, I think it's actually in a good place to heal at this point. Mia is like water. I don't actually use a healing item. That doesn't happen very often. At least when I play this game, I don't use items. I just use healing stuff. My Pokemon that really wasn't that great was, um, Poltegeist. Uh, it did not work out well. I used it to just swap out Pokemon. Um, what that was surprising was, uh, the hat, well, the hat Pokemon, the fairy type, hat one. <laughs> I'm bad with names. Um, that one actually was really good uh, because Fairy Psychic was a good uh, pair up. Uh, yeah, Hatterene. Uh, it's really good actually <laughs> and really paid off. Sure, we can do that. Uh huh. No one's. I don't know, I'll throw a game ticket at it. 
The Hatterene really came in handy for uh, dragons. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how it's pronounced, I'm just guessing. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have guessed Arceus uh, as an example when the Japanese pronunciation is Arceus, so... Pronunciations are weird when it comes to Pokemon. Hatterene. Oh boy. Again, what is it about this fight specifically? And this is why I ran circles for about 3 minutes, <laughs> because I clearly needed it. Uh... Flames. Hey, sure. We'll toss a... whatever that item was. I forgot what it was called. Because it's supposed to be Zeus. It's not... like, have you ever heard of a god named Kius? And I don't like Arceus either. Like, who even knows? I think in the movie they even pronounce it wrong <laughs> at one point. It's like they don't even know and they're dubbing this thing. I hope we're almost dead. I hope it's almost dead, but... Um, yeah, Arceus I guess... I don't know, again, maybe it's just because of some, like, a Japanophile or something, and I've heard it from the Japanese pronunciation of Star Seuss. Maybe that's why I'm just, I'm just used to that, so all other pronunciations just sound weird to me. So I, I had a score bunny named after Yumigami from Okami. I had a, um... Corvanite, that was the name of it, named after Dinoblade from Kirby. <sighs> I had... What else did I have, <laughs> actually? Um, I had a Hatterene named Hatsune because I'm so original. What else? I have Voltigeist named Marianne. I don't know why I picked Marianne. I think it's because this Pokedex entry mentioned being really shy and I was like, I think it wouldn't work. So I T, because I've been also working through three houses. Um, so I went with Marianne instead. Uh who else? I had the little plant thing. I forget the name of it. <laughs> the little orange plant that gets like, turns into like a little cotton ball in its evolution. I know, so descriptive. Uh, hmm. Sure. Gossip Lord, yeah, and Elda Goss. I had one named Madeline. The name didn't really work for the evolution, sadly, because <laughs> it didn't look like a redhead after it evolved. <laughs> Dynamax Garrett. Wow, you're right, it actually does look the, like the Dynamax uh, icon. Ow! <laughs> yeah, I just took a look at Snom and, and I'm like, you know what, this is never gonna work well. <laughs> this is gonna be a train wreck, and I already have one train wreck I'm trying to make work, so I did not try to integrate Snom into my party. I swear that- oh, hey! Level 17 warrior. 5200 coins and a water of life. Also, I just- it just occurred to me that the res actually worked. <laughs> it just occurred to me after the fight. Thank you, Isaac. You did good against the Kraken. You lost another oarsman, though. You need to check the hull. Go find someone to row the ship. Hero's work is never done. Let's pick you. You you must be joking. You want me to row? You shark, what do you have against me?
Isaac, you're back, and you brought an oarsman with you. Well, you're going to have to row for us. Alright, take your place. Now we'll need you to protect this area again, Isaac. Preparations ready! Or beetle. I think I caught one, but I didn't really use it. Oh shoot, I'm forgetting the emperor. Ship's course clear. A uh Bolton named uh Angelo after uh Renoa's dog in Final Fantasy VIII. Which is actually female, despite the name Angelo, so it actually worked perfectly. <laughs> I was looking up like, oh, how many like female dog names are there in video games? And it's like, oh, that's actually perfect. No, I actually don't like Final Fantasy VIII, oddly enough. I don't know why I picked that name. Probably because I already had one Okami name, so I couldn't use Ami. Bolton was really good, actually. <laughs> like, Bolton kind of swept a lot of teams. I was kind of surprised. Land Ho! Hey, I can see land! Looks like we made it. Made it? Finally, we're lucky to be alive after all those attacks. Rowing the ship was more fun than I expected. I'm pretty buff now. Totally lost out an ocean cruise, and I didn't get to enjoy the view. You make an old man row the ship, and then you try to beat him on shore? That's pretty pathetic. Thank you for all your hard work. Your efforts got this ship to shore. I thank you again. Hurry everyone, Colosso is already underway in Tolby. We better get moving to Tolby too. But yeah, since I actually forgot to give my listing, I would go Gen 4, which is Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Not Diamond and Pearl, I don't like those. <laughs> uh, platinum is the, the only good way to play Gen 4, or Diamond and Pearl. Uh, but Soul Silver is also really good. Ow, I'm so poisoned. Followed by Gen 3, specifically Emerald. And then probably Sword and Shield, actually. Or Sword, because that's when I played. Yeah, sort of an unconventional listing there. Tolby Docks. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, so. Tourists look a little upset. Did they get seasick? The sea was calm, but that monster sure gave them a rough ride. The non-full team at the XP share. If you're going to have told me, keep heading west. It's not too far. Also, I found the difficulty balancing in Sword was really good. Like, even with the XP share being mandatory, I felt like it balanced out pretty well, actually. Like, the amount of- I felt like I was at a pretty solid, solid level. It's been quite some time since the Colosso tour passengers left for Tolby. Is this an inn or the boat? Okay, it's the boat. Uh, I mean, you could. Uh, I you have shield, right? Uh, I don't even know it's exclusive, but like, hit me up if you want to trade at some point. Um. Move. I forgot which button I hotkeyed it to. But yeah, uh, let me know actually which game you'd prefer to see next after Golden Sun, because I don't want to do Lost Age immediately. Um, I want to give it a little bit of space. We got the potion. So like, I'm taking, I'm totally willing to take, except, take suggestions, I almost said exceptions, um, on what to play next. Within reason, I should specify, within reason. Flapple, I don't even have a Flapple, I don't think, but I can probably find one. And we finally made it to Tolby. Oh wow, that took a while. In real time, I mean. Alright, so right away, we're gonna go get a, a genie before we forget. Surfetch, yeah, I, I, I'd be willing to get a Ponyta in 
exchange for a star fetched. Also, I know I still don't know how to feel about Gala Meow, to be honest. I kind of like the design, but I kind of am a little uneasy by it. <laughs> um, now, who do I switch? Uh, but yeah, uh, just FYI, two games I'm considering down the road, but not don't have to be next. Uh, if anyone comes up with a better idea in the meantime. Again, I might just do Leon's campaign in RE2, because I should probably finish it before RE3. Um, and also Sunshine, like I said before, before. I'm like really in a mood where I'm like, you know what, I can totally replay Super Mario Sunshine and have a fantastic time. So I might do that soon. But again, I'm open to uh, suggestions. Listen coming. Can you someone live to be more than 100 years old? Yeah. Hmm, still, I'm pretty sure Bobby is a lot older than 100. Alright, check the shops real quick. Not that I have any money. <laughs> now that I think about it, because I spent money in the last town. Huh, <sighs> that's tempting. That is actually slightly tempting. I should check relics first. Or in fact. Oh, these are the ones I sold to him, so this is helpful. Also, I want to do Persona. I really want to do a Persona. I might do Persona 1, actually, just to be different. Or 2, because I hear 2 is a little bit better. Better than 1. 